Alrighty, so this semester one uni grades are out. And obviously, because the systems are different, I'll quickly explain. So there are four courses in my uh, engineering course for semester one. And each one, you can either get a high distinction, which is a four, distinction, which is three, and then credit, which is two, and then pass, which is one, and then fail, obviously, which is zero. And then what they do is out of your four courses, they take the average of all of these numbers, and that gives you overall GPA. So overall, it does not really matter too much if you get a perfect GPA or if you get a three. Uh, as long as you pass, uh, that's what matters. So we're going to check our grades right now. I've honestly never used this website before, so I don't know what's going on. All right, student record. <coughs> All right, let's view. <coughs> uh, zoom in a lot. Okay, academic history course list. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's nothing to be nervous. ATA was crazy. Bachelor of Engineering, okay. All right, so this is also semester two stuff, which I haven't started. So it doesn't matter. Um, introduction to professional. Damn, distinction. Okay, so I'm just got a three for that. So that's the first course. Second course. Hey, high distinction. All right, so digital fundamentals is crazy because I used a calculator for that. And I'll show you. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Okay, what's the next one? Hey, engineering science, high distinction. Engineering science, eight. Hey, okay, that's pretty good. So that's an overall 3.75. Uh, oh wait, 3.8. Oh, they round it. They round it to one decimal place. Alright, overall, it's pretty good. So unfortunately, I did not get the 4 GPA. So what that means is that once you don't get a 4 GPA, you can never recover yourself. You can never get a 4 GPA again. Now here's the funny thing about digital fundamentals, which is why I got 80% on. So this course is made up of a bunch of individual projects and group projects. And in the first individual project, which was worth 5%. Now that doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're trying to get in the 80 zones, it just matters a lot. Now, for this thing, you have to program something and it's a unit converter and you have to use the correct variables because this is marked by, it's basically a robot that detects if you have everything in your code correctly. So, I accidentally stupidly used capital letters for my variables instead of lowercase letters. And there were so many variables that it dragged my percentage from 100 down to 8%. So, that first major assignment, only 8%. What the heck? Anyways. So, I was thinking then, for my group assignments, I've got to actually lock in so that I can bring my overall above 80. So, the first group project comes. We follow every single criteria, everything, trying our best. We have to be getting at least 90, right? At least 95. We get 77.5%. So, then I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? We ask for feedback from the tutor. And then we're thinking, okay, we're going to apply this feedback for the next project. Now, for group project two, instead of getting 77.5%, like in group project one, we get 77.8%. And I was thinking, is this guy messing with us? Because this grading is so strict and so consistent, but we still tried to follow all the advice and feedback um, they told us about. We do everything in our best efforts, trying to do even extra research and things. Anyways, we look at other people's projects from different classes. They're getting 80s, 90s. Their projects aren't even half as good as ours. Like they're missing so many things that our tutor wouldn't punish them for. So then I'm thinking, okay, we got to actually take some advice from this tutor and actually ask him what's wrong. So I sent him an email. Now my tutor's known for not replying to emails, unfortunately, but I give him my best shot. I pray and I send the email saying, how can we get full marks on this next assignment? Literally the next day, he replies. I get a reply back from him saying, it looks really good. Just apply this one feedback, which is, I can't remember what it was. So we apply that feedback, I apply it. And I'm thinking, okay, surely we get at least 80% now instead of in the 70s. We get the marks back, 95%. I was like, let's go. But I was knowing that this is not the final thing. We still have to wait until we get the grades back for the individual project, the next individual project, which this individual project was worth 30% of the grades. So I had to fully make sure everything was right. <sighs> it was not. So I used my spreadsheet to calculate what minimum grade I would need for the overall high distinction. And as you can see, I need at least 22. If I get 21, then that's below 80. Now in my mind, I thought I was gonna be flying over 22. 
but then they released the grade and it says 71 percent i'm thinking okay that sounds kind of low lower than i expected but first things first i convert this into a fraction out of 30 and i see the number 21. i'm thinking bro no way i just missed high distinction by 0.07 percent but then i realize there's decimal places so i put in the decimal places and I'm at 80.23%. So 80.23% with the decimal places included, because I forgot to include decimal places. I was praising God, man. We were so close to getting a distinction. Now I know distinction and high distinction, like in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. But this small thing just made me realize how good God is. And also gave me advice as well. So now this uni experience taught me a bunch of lessons. And now I have a few confessions. It showed me that where there's a will, there's a way especially when you bow down and pray. Keep your faith in God and don't turn astray. With your early assignments, make sure you have them aced. Even the small ones, don't let them go to waste. Because then at the end of the semester, you'll have room for error. If you're chasing the HD, plan and track carefully and keep your scores in live review so you know exactly what to do. Hope everything else goes well for you.